Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hello everyone, my name is Reno and this video is another entry for my video series I'm calling The Olfactory Library where I'm sharing to you guys my love for fragrances. If you are new here, welcome and if you are returning, Thank you so much for tuning back in. This video is going to be a little bit special because if you are following me on Instagram, then you probably have seen me tease a full bottle of perfume. And today I am announcing that I'm giving it away. In this video, I have hid a little instruction on how you can get into this giveaway and own that bottle of perfume. So keep on watching this video. Now I know that wherever you are in the world right now, for almost two years, I know that we have been itching to do something special, to go on a date with someone special, make new memories, make new good memories. Now wherever you are going to go and however you are going to do it, today's video is a list of suggestions of perfumes that are very much date appropriate. Now this video is made for the guys, but for the women out there who are watching this video, catch my next video, it's made especially for you girls. For this video, I have divided it into three categories. For the first category, we have the daytime dates that could be um, a date during brunch, or meeting someone for the very first time. The second category are for those dates that are a little bit adventurous and that involves the outdoors, probably a date by the beach, at the park, or a date at the theme park. And for the last category, which is my personal favorite and I'm sure everybody's favorite, are for date nights. It could be a casual dinner at a restaurant, or a fine dining date, or it could be a day at a movie theater. Wherever you're going to go, I'm sure these fragrances are going to work in those occasions. Now let's jump right into the list, starting with daytime dates. First up, we are going to the house of Tom Ford and this is Oud Wood. It has prominent notes of Oud, Sandalwood, Cardamom, Vetiver, and Tonka Bean. Now this perfume probably has the cleanest oud that you will ever smell. The oud in here is very much focused on its woodiness, but it still has the nuances of a real oud experience. This perfume since it was released has become Tom Ford's best-selling men's perfume to date. Now I know that a lot of women love this perfume and even bought this perfume for their partners. However, it also has the reputation of probably one of the worst performing perfumes this will not last very long. You are probably going to run through a quarter of the bottle if you are going to want this perfume to last you the entire day. But if you really love this perfume, then I think you could go for the Oud Wood Intense. So you could probably grab that one for yourself if you love this perfume and want a better performing perfume. But I prefer this one because it has a good balance of that woodiness and that sparkliness at the same time. This is just really easily lovable, easily wearable, very masculine, very sexy. You will not go wrong with this perfume if you're going on a date. For the next perfume, we are going to the house of Paco Rabanne and this is One Million Parfum. It has prominent notes of tuberose, salt, solar notes, and amber. If you're familiar with the original One Million perfume, this one carries a lot of the DNA of the original One Million and made a whole lot brighter and a whole lot creamier. What makes this perfume stand out in all of the One Million line is the presence of the tuberose and the solar notes and the salt notes in this perfume that makes this perfume really appropriate for daytime. In my opinion, those three, the original One Million, 1 million Privé and the 1 million Lucky are more for date nights, for nighttime, for night outs, for clubbing. This perfume is one of the strongest and one of the loudest perfume in my entire collection. So if you are going to wear this on a date, especially during daytime, I would suggest you go lightly on the trigger. One or two sprays in this perfume is already going to go a long way and it will last you for the whole day. It will last in your clothes for even the next two days. I am not kidding. It performs that good. This is a little bit dense and heavy, but worn in appropriate places and appropriate occasions, this perfume will not fail you. 
And for the last perfume for my daytime date, we are going to the tried and tested Creed Aventus. It has prominent notes of pineapple, bergamot, oak moss, and ambroxan. Now I think that this perfume is such a really good choice if you're meeting someone for the first time, if you're making an impression for the very first time. Both guys and girls love this perfume. You will not go wrong with this perfume. This has been tried and tested by history to be a real compliment magnet. This is one of the few perfumes in my collection that every time I wear it, I would just have to expect unsolicited compliments coming my way. However, this perfume in a true Creed fashion is not the most long lasting of all the choices in this list. It's definitely an easy wear, it's easily likable, and it's never polarizing and definitely a compliment magnet. For the second category, we are going to the outdoors. These are dates that I imagine could be dates that, you know, like picnics in the park, picnics by the beach, or those theme park dates. These perfume choices are going to help you stay fresh and smell good at the same time even if you will be sweating a lot or spending a lot of time under the sun. For the first perfume, we are going to the house of Tom Ford and this is Mandarino di Amalfi. It has prominent notes of lemon, grapefruit, basil, orange blossom, and vetiver. Right from the opening, you will be greeted with a blast of citruses with a lot of green undertones, mainly coming from the basil in this perfume. In my opinion, this is very much unisex but leaning more towards the masculine side because of the very prominent green notes in this perfume. The combination of the green undertones in this perfume and the juiciness of the grapefruit and lemons makes this perfume a really good photorealistic citrus perfume experience. It smells like you're smelling the zest that are directly coming out from the peel of um, probably a lemon or a lime. This is such an easily likable perfume. And the way that the citruses in this perfume smells very naturalistic, you are definitely going to smell really fresh even if you will be sweating a lot. The downside of this perfume is that it doesn't last very long, but while it lasts in your skin and in your clothes, this is really just a very amazing perfume for the high heat. For the next perfume, we are going to the house of Byredo and this is Sundays. It has prominent notes of mandarin, lemon, cotton candy, and musk. This is just a very unique high heat appropriate perfume. This is really really unique. That cotton candy in here is very prominent. It's sweet but it's never in a very sickeningly way. But although it smells like cotton candy, I don't think it's going towards the gourmand direction. And what's also unique about this perfume is that touch of mandarin at the opening of this perfume. That overall what you would get is a citrus cotton candy experience and I think that's just very unique. This honestly smells very perfectly unisex so you won't have to worry. And the way that this perfume carries a very unique experience, when you and your date are going to be around other people, you are definitely going to stand out. You are going to smell very sweet, seductive, but at the same time really really fresh. Especially coming from that mandarin note in here and that very airy watery quality that Bioradio DNA typically has. And for the final category, we are finally at the date night. Either you're going for a casual dinner date with your partner or you could be going on a fine dining date or a date at a movie theater or even if you are meeting someone for the very first time on a date night, I got you covered with these choices. For the first perfume, we're going to the house of Penhaligans and this is Babylon. It has prominent notes of nutmeg, saffron, vanilla, and woods. Overall, what you are going to get in this perfume is a very masculine and spicy vanilla experience. This perfume is a vanilla bomb, and the way that the vanilla smells in here kind of reminds me of another perfume on this list. The nutmeg and the woody base of this perfume is I think what makes this very very masculine. This perfume I think also has qualities of being a good everyday perfume. The way that the vanilla is done here is not going towards the more gourmand territory 
where most vanilla perfumes tend to go but it is that addition of the vanilla in here is what makes this perfume a good transitional perfume that you can wear to the office and straight into day and night the vanilla in here is what is going to make you smell irresistible and that masculine touches coming from the woods and the spices at the top are what is going to make you smell very addicting for the next perfume, we are going to the house of Killian and this is Angel Share. This has prominent notes of cinnamon, cognac, oak, praline, and tonka bean. Now right from the opening of this perfume, the most distinct note that I could pick up is definitely this very beautiful, sweet cinnamon at the top. This was the perfume that I was talking about that reminds me of Babylon from Ben Halligan's, but this one I think is done a little bit more in an elevated way. This perfume is definitely something that I really reserve for special occasions, for special events because this perfume has so much going with it. It has layers of notes and it develops as it dries down on your skin or on your clothes when you wear it. This is such a boss perfume that you really have to try. I think this is just one of the most amazing boozy perfumes that has ever been created. This is a very masterful blend of spices, boozy qualities, and that decadent creamy base of tonka bean. For those who are new to perfumes, Killian, the owner of the brand, is from the Hennessy family. It's the same Hennessy family that produces this very famous drink. Now, he obviously grew up with a family that ages cognacs in oak barrels, and this is called Angel Share because when you are aging those alcohols in an oak barrel, a small percentage of that gets evaporated. The missing alcohol content in, in the entire volume in, within the oak barrel is what they call angel share. This one is definitely inspired by cognac on rocks and they are packaged in this very beautiful art deco bottle that is supposed to replicate a whiskey glass and I think from the packaging alone you are already winning. This is a definite gentleman's token perfume to have on the dresser. But packaging aside, this is such an upscale experience. This is such a very elevated perfume and if you are going to wear this on a date, I'm sure you're going to lock her or his attention towards you. For the next perfume, we are going to the house of Jo Malone and this is Rose and White Musk Absolute. This is prominent notes of rose, oud, and musk. Now I know this smells very simplistic just based on that notes breakdown, but I think the experience that you are going to get with this perfume is so much more than what you're being let on. You can't have a date appropriate perfumes list without a rose perfume. You can't be a gentleman without a rose perfume in your arsenal. When a guy wears a rose perfume on a date, he is a man on a mission. And he is not just there to kill time, but he is the kind of guy who doesn't want to go home empty-handed. This I think is one of the most unique rose oud perfumes in my collection. The rose and the oud combined in here just smells very very sexy and when it dries down when the musk starts to come out the whole experience with this perfume really changes and it makes this perfume even more seductive than when you first spray it. Now into the giveaway. As of recording, my channel has 133 subscribers and when we reach 200 subscribers, I will be picking one lucky subscriber to own that full bottle. All you have to do to get into this giveaway is to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and comment down below what is your favorite date perfume, whether it be a daytime date or a nighttime date and tell me why. I would love to know your choices and your opinions about them. And most importantly, in the comment section below, don't forget to put your Instagram handle because if your name will be selected as a winner, I will be sending you a DM through Instagram. Now remember, there are only three things that you need to do. If you are not going to meet those three criteria, your name will be taken out of the list automatically. But if you've done those three things, all you have to do now is either you come back to this channel or follow me on Instagram because I will be announcing it there if we have reached 200 subscribers already. I will be announcing the winner in the comment section down below and in my Instagram. So get going and I'll see you soon. Ciao! And for the last perfume, this is my most favorite designer perfume of all time. This is Burberry London for Men. This one has prominent notes of tobacco, cinnamon, 
oak moss and lavender. The oak moss and lavender gives this perfume that very familiar vintage touch to this perfume but this perfume doesn't smell like an old man or an old person's perfume at all and this is even made more modern with the addition of tobacco and cinnamon at the top. This I just think is the cleanest, the smoothest tobacco note I have ever smelled and that sweet spicy cinnamon at the top in here really elevates the experience with this perfume. This I think is a perfume masterclass. The way that you create something very familiar and then transforming it into a very modern experience, I think that is just amazing. I am just head over heels addicted with this perfume. It's not going to give you a massive projection which is good because it's not going to be suffocating and in your face towards the person that you're with when you're going to wear this on a date you are definitely gonna get a second date and if she or he is going to go with you definitely she is going to think about you for the next three days this is the perfume that you should be wearing if you want to smell like the one who got away and this is the perfume that you should be wearing if you want her to call you and meet you again for the next weekend so that completes the list of date appropriate perfumes. If you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And also hit the notification bell if you want to be updated when I do upload again in the future. And as always, I hope everybody are staying safe, get vaccinated, and I'll see you on the next one.